Good day, I'm Theodore Henry and this is your GIS News for Thursday, December 6. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has promised to act on the Auditor General's recommendations for improving operations at Petrojam and its parent company, the Petroleum Corporation of Jamaica. The AGD's recommendations are contained in a report that was commissioned by the Prime Minister earlier this year and submitted to Parliament on Tuesday. In an interview on Wednesday, Mr. Holness thanked the Auditor General for the comprehensive report, even as he assured citizens that some of the highlighted issues had already been addressed. There's still more issues that she has raised, which I will obviously have to address. Um, for example, what has caught my eye of great interest is uh, the issue with the pricing. That is something that we will have to take a, a very serious look at, uh, issues to do with the uh, infrugality of the use of public resources that has to also be addressed. I believe that you could say that this is a watershed moment for transparency and accountability in Jamaica. The Prime Minister will be providing rebuilding assistance to nine families whose homes were destroyed by fire at Bell Rock in Olympic Way on November 28. The Prime Minister, who is Member of Parliament for the area, made the commitment as he visited the families Wednesday. He said that while the fire was an unfortunate event, it provided an opportunity to create a better housing scheme to include sewerage and street lights. The era deserves attention. We'll start as quickly as possible. Yeah. We will have to actually design the units, mm -hmm. get approvals. Okay. I have to get NWC inside here to put in the sewage. Okay. The planning process will take a month or two. It will take a little time. I don't want to mm -hmm. give you any false hope that you could, yeah. you could be in, a, in your new house so um, <laughs> for December 25th. That, oh, that's yeah. not, <laughs> not, not going to be possible, okay. but, but we're, going to, we're going to move very quickly. The housing scheme was built by Food for the Poor in 2011. A new online platform has been created to provide information and a safe space for victims and survivors of gender-based violence to share stories, challenges and solutions. The platform was designed and developed by the UNFPA Caribbean Sub-Regional Office and officially handed over to the Gender Ministry on Tuesday. Portfolio Minister Olivia Grange says the Bureau of Gender Affairs will host, manage and maintain the interactive platform. The Bureau will utilize the online platform to promote community engagement and ownership to raise awareness of gender-based violence as violence and a form of discrimination, and to provide a safe and secure space that allows victims and survivors to share their experiences and find support for persons with similar cases. The platform was launched as part of a public forum titled Big Woman and Big Man Chat, addressing intimate part of violence held at the Courtly Auditorium. The National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA, says it has so far removed bulky waste from 80% of the 105 major towns across the island that are targeted under its pre-Christmas cleanup drive. $60 million is being spent on the project, which commenced on Saturday, November 24. Executive Director of the NSWMA, Audley Gordon, says the island-wide operation has been progressing well, with tons of bulky waste being collected. We are moving out tons and tons. As a matter of fact, the last count, we have moved over 2,000 trips of debris already. And we will go straight through this weekend, and by which time we should probably be near 4,000 trips. Mr. Gordon was speaking with GIS News on Tuesday during the cleanup exercise along Barracks Road in Montego Bay. He thanked residents there and elsewhere for being cooperative while urging that persons keep the sites clean at the end of the operation. Meanwhile, Regional Operations Manager for Western Parks and Markets, Garnet Edmondson, says communities in Hanover and Westmoreland will be visited starting this Friday through to Sunday, December 9. Not only that we are moving out non-compactables, but we have put in additional units in the system to ensure that we do not have backlog. As we speak now, we are down to single-digit backlog in the region. It's the first time we have ever seen this. So the resources that the government has given to us is doing a really good job at ensuring the cleanest Christ Christmas. The Consumer Affairs Commission, CAC, is advising consumers to be vigilant while conducting business online. 
Information Technology Manager at the CAC, Andrew Eveling, says this is especially important as the agency does not have legal rights to pursue overseas merchants. Our Consumer Protection Act uh, is solely uh, protects our local consumers and also our local merchants. So in that regard, when you're doing an online transaction with uh, an overseas merchant, it is your duty and responsibility to take very special care in doing these transactions. Mr. Evelyn was addressing a recent JIS think tank. He said consumers should check the first five characters in website names to ensure they start with HTTPS as that indicates that the website protects highly confidential online transactions like banking and shopping. The CAC's Information Technology Manager also warns that online transactions should not be conducted while using free internet connections. Persons with, with a criminal intent, of course, will capture all information that you enter and that pass through their, their, their equipment and they're able to uh, figure out your password, probably get your credit card information and, and things like that. And finally, Sansia Bennett Templer is the new permanent secretary for the Office of the Prime Minister, OPM. In a statement Monday, the OPM said Bennett Templer had over 30 years' experience in executive management in the public and private sectors in Jamaica. They include Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Health, President of JAMPRO, Senior Vice President of the Airports Authority of Jamaica, and CEO of the Partnership for Transformation's Program Management Office. She takes over from Mrs. Audrey Sewell, who will concentrate on her substantive role as Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Theodore Henry. Thanks for watching.